it's me, Chow. It's Dara. Today, I'm cooking delicious red lentil curry. I really hope that you will enjoy this today. But before we move on, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we get another amazing video. Let's go! So guys, I have all my ingredients here on this tray. Here I have grated coconut, chopped onions, curry leaves, and here I have my red whole lentils. And they are also called masoor dal. Here I have salt, garlic cloves, tamarind, turmeric powder, oil, red chili powder, and here I have Malvani Masala. It is a very special spice, and if you do not have Malvani Masala at your home, you can just use Gara Masala. But Malvani Masala is for the smell of this recipe. So here I have my lentils and I have soaked them overnight. Now I'm going to boil them for 10 minutes. I'm heating up some water. And I'm putting our soaked lentils in the water. Adding in some salt. And I'm boiling it all. So it's supposed to be this consistency. And I'm heating up oil, adding in onions. Fry them around, make sure they're golden brown. Keep on frying. Now I'm adding in grated coconut. And as you see here, they are all golden brown. Add in some tamarind, fry it around. So guys, in my mixer, I have our onions, our coconut, and our tamarind. Now I'm adding in our Malvani masala, turmeric powder, and red chili powder. So I just blended it up and it's supposed to be in this consistency, very smooth and thick. So I'm adding oil into a pan, garlic, curry leaves, and our lentils. Now, I'm adding in our cooking water from the lentils. Now, I'm adding in the paste that we made. Salt. And now, I'm just going to stir and boil this. Okay, so I've just boiled this for a while. It's very thick and it smells so delicious. I'm adding in some optional cilantro leaves. Mmm, it smells so good. And guys, that is our delicious lentil curry recipe. And the best part is... It doesn't have vegetables. During quarantine time, if you do not have your vegetables, if you don't have vegetables at home, this recipe is really easy to make with no vegetables. It's really delicious to have with rice and ghee. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you like this, Please also share this video with your family and friends so they can cook with you. Bye. I'll see you in another amazing video.